Is it possible to be New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS without touching any coins? Let's see if that's possible. Let's see if that's possible to beat a speedrun without doing it. Starting with 1-1, one, 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 you want to keep the coin counter at zero. <clears throat> for 1-1, one one, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to avoid those coins right there to hop up and you're good. There's no trouble here, folks. World 1 2. You want to avoid those co that shell so you don't get coins from blocks. I might I might know that there's no coins in this section, but for this one, you want to avoid all the power blocks in this level and all coins at this level. Otherwise, you'll get coins. <clears throat> <clears throat> World 1-3, this speedrun is going very well. World 1-3, this coin counter might not uh, might not be okay at first, but if if this wasn't bothering you, it may, technically it would. But for now, you want to avoid all coins without jumping. You want to do perfect jumps, but he, he just keeps collecting coins in the video. This is just a demonstration that I'm talking through. So, you want to avoid every coin and do tiny jumps and avoid every coin at all costs. World 1 Dash Tower. I know this is a speed run. We're trying to beat it. So, this is just part one or part two. Wh whatever. So, you want to avoid all coins with those moving blocks for 1 Dash Tower. <clears throat> and take a secret exit. Man, this is really tricky. For 1 Dash Cannon, you want to avoid all coins. They are very tricky. But look at this. You have to avoid all coins. And there's no way you can beat it. But we can try. But we're not going to let these coins hurt us. We're just going to... We're just going to... We're just going to keep those coins. Because they're not going to hurt us. And you cannot... You cannot beat this level without collecting any coins, but it is gonna bother us. Well, we have to. We can't do the speed run. We might as well just speed run all through World One, World Two, World Three, World Four, World Five, World Six, World Seven, World Eight, World Nine, and all those other worlds. You want to avoid all those coins, <clears throat> so. <laughs> this is not a good speed run. Why would we do this anyway? We can't just take these advice for no reason. Well, we have to play through that whole level. We have to play all play through all those levels. Can you believe that? Three, um, seven, seven levels, seven worlds later. Man, this speed run without coins is not coming a good start. So. World 6-1, you want to avoid all coins, but you don't press any power blocks, because it could give you coins. And watch out for these meteors coming out of the volcano. There's no trouble here at all. World 6-Ghost House contains some coins, but not lots. But there's not that much coins, surprisingly. And here we and what? No, just avoid those coins. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do this part, I would suggest not collecting all those coins. I know. I'm sorry. We had to play through all the whole game with time cards. Without we have to play through the whole speed run without time cards. We tried using a cannon, but the speed run's not going very well without any coins. <clears throat> We got a secret exit to this level. We got a secret exit. So, this is what you need. You do not want to collect these coins. There's coins. Why would there be coins? Ahem. <clears throat> Watch. There's going to be coins. I know there are. Mojo's not very happy. I don't know why Mojo's not very happy. But look at this P-switch. It's orange. And these coins! There's coins! And this secret exits, when you all jump, they all contain coins! 
Well, you can't use that secret exit, folks. Well, you want to avoid these power-ups, too, because they might, uh, might get you coins. World, world 5-2 contains not a lot of coins, but we're all good, and we're going to be good. And you want to avoid this part at all cause. <clears throat> so avoid all those parts. But sadly, this next part is quite a problem. I'll let you take a good look at it for a second. There's bob bombs, and that's and you want to go up and avoid those coins. But lava is rising. But if we try, you have to use those bob bombs to throw, and you have to throw it at those coins. And sadly, you cannot go to the left, and you have to use those bob bombs to get coins. <clears throat> and you cannot go to the left. I'm truly disgusted right now. But here's the harsh truth. You have to play 8-2, uh, 6-2 to keep playing the game. There is no secret exits that can be used to, to skip it. There is no secret paths that you can buy with star coins. We are stuck here. Can you believe that after all those tricky parts, those tricky ghost houses, and that tricky speed run, and tricky cannons, <clears throat> we are stuck here. So close to the world star. So close to my boy Bowser. Today, I'm here to tell you, no, it is not possible to speed run the whole game without touching any coins. I really had a blast playing the 3DS. It hasn't, it, it, it's a game I haven't played in years, so have fun playing the game. If maybe if there was two talented players, you can play in, in story mode with two multiplayer with multiplayer game. Maybe you can avoid those coins. I really had a blast playing that game. Goodbye.